Are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure you want to do this? I have an HDR 50, 11 joules. I know, so do I. Well, I have the best slugs ever made. Well, how do you know? I don't. Well, do you want to go test them first? No, I want to. Yes, let's go test them. Good day, folks. Welcome back to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Today, we'll finally be answering questions that so many of you have asked and keep asking on a nearly daily basis. A video that may ignite fiery discussions, but also quail long overdue question marks. Ladies, but mainly gentlemen, today I finally give you the top five slugs for the Umarex HDR50 or TR50. So as always, before we start shooting, let's step into my office for a moment to have a closer look. exclusively be seeing which are the best ball bearing or bullet sabotage slugs with the exception of the Z rams which are all metal and pointy. Of course there's a ton of other fun effective great ammo out there from aluminum or steel balls to these 7 BB buckshots and even killer spikes but we'll save them for my next video where I'll actually be testing many of these with some of these using my HDR 50 11 joules, which is the same one I'll be using today on a ballistic dummy bust. So we'll finally have a more realistic feel of their effect on a human body. Anyway, my friends, these right here are the ones that so far have impressed me the most. The ones that have made the most damage against the largest variety of targets in the many tests that I've conducted so far on my channel. So let me present them to you in our top five slugs for the HDR50. The 4.7 gram Polish made Devastator. The 6.4, these are the heaviest, nine millimeter Bicododo sabotaged nine millimeter bullets made in Italy. The 4.4 grams jaw droppers. Uh, this is old ammunition that I have. It's been a while since I've uh, shot jaw droppers. The 4.2 gram these bullets, a new American brand. And last but not least, the famous all metal 4.4 gram pointy Z Rams. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Do subscribe to the channel. And as always, it's a huge help if you hit that like button. So today we'll be rating them based on their performance uh, and results on the same type of targets from the same distance, which today will be 20 feet and in the same conditions all around. I'll obviously be changing CO2 cartridge before every single test. Today I'll be using these Umarex 12 gram CO2 cartridges. I find them to work great in Umarex guns. As always, as I've learned on Rune Rebel's channel, I always add a few drops of silicone oil, um, which keeps the seals nice and healthy. Anyway, the CO2 has been charged, it has been loaded. Let's go shoot. Of course, we're gonna start off with a chrono test. We're going to be measuring the speed in feet per second of each and every single projectile. And of course, we'll be shooting these two and a half gallon plastic water jugs uh, to measure also their penetration power.
me start with saying that today it is 15 degrees Celsius. And I usually shoot at 30 degrees Celsius, which makes obviously the CO2 a lot more powerful. The chrono numbers have been embarrassingly low. I've never seen chrono numbers this low. So obviously this translated on very low power on the water jugs. The devastators, which usually do completely go across, they come out of the other side after entering the front. As we see this time, they did not. If you go check out my previous videos, you will see that. The nine millimeters are the only ones who penetrated all the way. So we will put them at number one. These bullets tried, they definitely made a hole here. I don't think anything came out, uh, but definitely the second best result. The jaw droppers, basically they all bounce back. Just one or two maybe penetrated. The Z rings, same, maybe one or two penetrated. Nothing came through the other side. And again, the devastators penetrated. So I know that I would put the nine millimeters in first position, and I think the remaining four are equally, were equally ineffective this time around. And up next, the tunnel of destruction. Basically, we have four quarter inch plywood boards put here in a row. I'll only be shooting a few slugs of each and let's see how many boards they'll each penetrate. All right, so I shot three devastators. Let's indeed circle them. This one's still stuck in the first one. Devastator, Devastator. So two of them did indeed penetrate the first one, but all three did not penetrate the second one. Alright, again, we have one stuck in the first one, just like the Devastator of the 9 millimeters. They did, indeed, two of them penetrate the first one, but just like the Devastator, they barely dented the second one. Exit wounds also are all very similar. For the jaw droppers, it seems like I did one big group, so they obviously penetrated jaw droppers. <laughs> and indeed, it is stuck, one of them is stuck here, just like all the other ones. While again, very minimal damage on the second one. So I shot four ZRAMs because one I kind of missed. This is one of them, so we won't consider that one but here's one two and three z rams let's see what happened here okay it seems like they are all stuck or 
not all actually one of them is stuck on the first board very minimal damage on the second Lastly, these bullets. Uh, none of them seem to have actually penetrated all the way. They did. These bullets, they did indeed make holes in our board, but none did go through to the other side. All right, folks, we are down to our final target in this cold and low power day. Um, as always, we'll be shooting cans of SpaghettiOs. No, this is not waste of food. This is actually waste of stuff that is very bad for you. So I gladly shoot it. I gladly waste it. with the Kododo 9 millimeters, We have some nice entries and we also have some decent exits. Look at that. Nine millimeters by Kododo. guys a few misses with the devastator went straight on the plywood back there but let's see all right no exits good entries but no exits nine millimeter beats devastator so far Our draw droppers good entries oh I think that was an entry as well hmm I don't think there were any exits to be honest but there sure are some good entry holes and also a couple misses as well the Z Rams I finally got all six of them in and look at that some of them tried to come out look at that point right there <laughs> Z Rams definitely at the second place at the moment spin so much so it's hard to find the entries versus the exits but we can see some bumps so they did indeed try to come out but I don't think there's any full-on exits so uh, it's a hard one between for the second place between these bullets and the Z Rams 
but for sure we will put the nine millimeters at the first place and I will let you guys decide how to rate the rest. I know that a lot of you have found it somewhat puzzling that I recently started making PCP rifle videos. But hear me out, PCP may not be your thing, but I promise you that you will be absolutely entertained by my videos and that you'll see some very cool ballistic visuals like in this video right here. So don't forget to subscribe guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.